Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Y. In the previous episode, we made it through Victory Road all the way here to the Pokemon League. So in today's episode, we are going to be taking on the first Elite Four member of this game. Now, before we begin, if you guys could give this video a like, I'd really appreciate it. You guys have no idea how much it means to me. Anyways, as probably some of you are wondering, if you could see the bottom screen right now, there is a Gengar on my team. Uh, if you remember in the last episode, I caught a Haunter. If you did not see that, then go ahead and watch the last episode before you watch this one because you're spoiling yourself anyways um we caught a haunter and i traded it with myself with on my pokemon x file and i was able to evolve it into a gengar and i went and got the mega stone for gengar so now gengar can evolve into mega gengar which is amazing i taught it the move thunderbolt because we're going to need it for one of the elite four members it's going to be really useful and convenient uh, i'm so glad i caught this this Gengar, it's actually a really powerful one. Like, look at its speed and special attack. It's just, ow, it's incredible. So I'm really glad that I caught this Gengar. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be doing the first Elite Four member. Uh, I'm going to be doing every Elite Four member in their own individual video that way. It's more of like a guide and it's just easier to, to navigate through and handle. When I do face off the Elite Four for the second time, I'll make sure to do every Elite Four member in one video. If you guys like that, if you prefer the longer videos. But however, uh, these videos will be uploaded maybe one after the other. So uh, you'll be able to see them all right away rather than having to wait a day in between watching an elite four member that's if you haven't like been in the game already because i mean it's been out for a little over a week and if you haven't been in the game that's kind of sad <laughs> that just goes straight out really a pokemon a true pokemon fan anyways you're the illustrious sully are you Welcome at last to the Pokemon League. I am one of the elite four people know me as the fire type master or pokemon user malva here in the Pokemon League, you'll encounter the four of us, the Elite Four and our champion. If you hope to meet the champion and challenge her here, you must defeat the four of us. Do your best, because if you can't impress us with your real strength, you'll never get to battle her. But it should be a walk in the park for you, right? The hero who destroyed Big Bad Team Flare? Oh, you bet your sweet little ass I'm the one who did that. Just won me points with that chick. She's just like, oh, he's so hot. He defeated Team Flair and the evil Lysander all by himself, uh. No, with the help of my Pokemon. So if you want, maybe we can have a little Pokemon orgy, you know? Pokemon on Pokemon orgy, and then I get the, uh, the Elite Four members, at least the pretty ones. I, I think she's the only pretty one. The uh, other ones are all, bleh. Two guys in, uh, two guys in, there's an old lady who reminds me of Agatha. From Pokemon, yeah, from one of the Pokemon games. Anyways... Ah, you're just sitting there comfortably on your chair thinking you're hot shit. Welcome, challenger, to my blazing chamber. I am Malva, and I shall be your opponent today. Okay. This is good. We are going to be challenged by Elite Four member Malva. The fire-type Elite Four member, I believe. Well, I mean, she obviously is. She stated that at the, at the beginning when we first spoke with her. So she has four Pokemon, a Pyroar, Talonflame, Torkoal, and a Chandelure. Chandelure, I think is how it's pronounced. I'm not really sure, but her first Pokemon on her team is a Pyroar. It's a fire and normal type Pokemon. You can actually catch the first form of this Pokemon really, really early on in the game if you want. So if you wanted, you could actually have this on your team right now. I'm going to be doing Surf on it because it's two times effective on this little bastard right here. Who thinks it could stand a chance against me. Super effective and critical hit. I'm 100% positive if we did not get that critical hit, it still would have been alive. So that kind of is great that we got the critical hit. It's all luck. Uh, she's going to send out Talonflame next. I'm actually going to switch out into Gengar. Because uh, Talonflame is a fire flying type Pokemon. And I know Thunder is times two effective on uh, flying types. So we're going to be evolving. We're going to be putting Mega Gengar to the test the first time ever. And then we're going to be attacking it with a Thunderbolt. So get stoked. Because you can see Mega Gengar in action. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Look at that beauty. Holy crap. Actually, uh, when I first got the Mega Stone, I, I used it and I tested it in battle. So I mean, if there was like an extended cutscene, it's probably why it never or it didn't get to show because I have already used Mega Gengar before. Anyways, uh, it got damaged by a little recoil, which is good. Gengar, in fact, is still pretty weak because 
Um, I literally caught it at Victory Road and I didn't train it one level, so it's still fresh out of Victory Road. All I ever, all I literally did was um, just evolve it and put the Mega Stone on it, and that's it. That's all I ever did. And I taught taught it Flame or Thunderbolt. I was gonna say Flamethrower, no, but I thought Thunderbolt. Anyways, it's Torkoal is next. It's just a fire type Pokemon, so water is definitely gonna kill it in one hit if we do attack it first. It actually really depends. I'm not really sure if I I got rid of also Hydro Pump and I taught um Greninja Ice Beam because we're gonna need a Pokemon with an ice move in order to take on one of the Elite Four members. So it's it's very crucial that we have a Pokemon with an ice move. And it's final Pokemon, Chandelier, a ghost and fire Pokemon. So we'll be able to take it out with Surf. And that will be it for this Elite Four member. And they're all pretty much easy. If you have the proper Pokemon, you'll be able to sweep through the Elite Four. It's a joke. It's not that hard. Uh, I'm really intrigued to see how they are the second time around when we face them off. Hopefully they prove to be a lot more challenging than they are now. That would be fun. Fantastic, utterly fantastic. I'll report to all the world that the news of you and your Pokemon dominating the Pokemon League. I am a hollow caster star after all. <laughs> I'm such a busy woman. Three more members of the Elite Four stand between you and the champion. Take the elevator to return to the main hall if you're ready for them. I am ready. Yeah, I have no idea how much I'm ready for this. I'm so excited. And like this, just the way the Elite Four is designed is just beautiful. Like, as you see, there are four rooms, and every room has kind of two light bulbs on it. Once you exit, go in a room and uh, defeat it, the light bulbs turn off. So it just pretty much tells you, well, yeah, you've been in this room, and you defeated this, this Elite Four member. And then, yeah, it brings you back here. So it's pretty nice. It's legit. I like it. It's, it's really amazing and beautiful. Anyways, that pretty much does it, guys, for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to actually take on the second Elite Four member. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.